Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to Besiege. Yes, I decided to build in Besiege because the game is actually quite advanced thanks to mods and skins and everything. Well, it is kinda basic still, but thanks to, as you can see, uh, a lot of skins, you can uh, build a lot of uh, different things. And I decided to build an Institute Battlebot, because that is the only way to get you guys to click on these videos if they are Fallout 4 related. So, we're gonna start with, uh, I suppose, several Fallout uh, related builds in Besiege and other games. And then hopefully you guys are gonna continue watching when I, you know, depart from the Fallout uh, universe in other games, but uh, for this one I uh, I didn't really complicate it too much because I kind of forgot how to build stuff in the game Kind of, you know <laughs> Forgot a little bit, so I'm very very sorry about that. So this one is relatively basic at start I wanted to uh, make sure that my wheels and my handling is uh, nicely done But after a while I realized that, that that's just not gonna work because uh, the, the the thing that I wanted to do is make a battle bot that is obviously protected. Because uh, if you watch the the battle cars, uh, I think it's called battle cars or Robo robot wars, robot wars, I think. Yeah, if you watch that show where you know people battle with their little robotic creations, uh, most of those robotic creations are completely uh, safe from all sides, and you can't really see the wheels. And if you can't see the wheels, this particular design with the steering, uh, with the steering uh, hinge things, uh, doesn't work because the steering uh, hinge thing, it can uh, rotate all around. You know, it can rotate in 360 degrees. So when you want to go all the way left, for example, and you start pressing the the button to the left. It's just gonna start spinning in a circle and you're not gonna be able to go completely left and that is why this particular design was kind of shit and uh, Thanks to all of the skin packs. I found several white skin packs that allow me to do all sorts of things and I didn't actually realize that I had the futuristic pack that had completely different uh, wood blocks compared to the to the standard ones because the standard white block is just you know uh, the skin of the brown wooden thing is changed while the futuristic pack has a completely different model so it looks completely different and uh, so the base is this just a redesigned white block but all of the other uh, blocks are this futuristic block and I also placed the armor that is also a very very nice white clean futuristic uh, block and as you can see it is completely it is kind of completely down to the ground, but I did have to, had to add, did had to, I had to, you can't say did had, did and had doesn't go together, but either way, I uh, had to add another block because <laughs> the machine was so heavy that I wasn't able to, to drive it properly. So the front side has these uh, spinning, uh, spinning blades or spinning uh, pokey things. Very, very violent butt sticks, you could say. Very futuristic, violent butt sticks. And, uh, yeah, I started adding, because I'm using all of these mods and they allow you to do whatever you want, which is wonderful. <laughs> it is so wonderful. I mean, you can do whatever you want in the game. There's so many options. There's even the cameras that you saw from the, from the intro. It's just beautifully done by the modders. And, uh, well, in, uh, in this case, I kind of wanted to add more of these, more of these spinning uh, butt sticks, but I wasn't able to because when you overlap things, they kind of explode together, so overlapping things in the game does not make a lot of sense, because it is physics-based. So if you start overlapping things, they're just gonna explode once you uh, start, uh, start the game. And I wanted to make sure to have cannons that are kind of going uh, out of hiding using the pistons. And I also wanted to make like a like a hatch, you know, like a space shuttle hatch, but uh, I kind of forgot how to do all of that stuff, so I decided to leave that for some other build. So I added uh, a pair of pistons for each cannon, and then see how the cannon is very, very futuristic and beautiful. There are also lasers. You can uh, get a block that is a laser, but I think it is out of date. Not really sure, I downloaded just the, the green ones, the green mods that are not out of date, 
but there are lasers and and like laser laser targeting and shit like that and this was already the design of the battle bot pretty much because i wanted to go with the authentic like uh, old school robot wars design and every single uh, battle car or battle bot looks like this from the old days and i wanted to make sure to replicate that design because i also wanted to incorpor incorporate it in some sort of a story and the story is that simply the institute simply besiege is a game within the institute headquarters you know it it, uh, it is a game within fallout where the, the institute simply uh, decided to uh, replicate the bots that they made in the game and they placed them in the real world simply like the the 3d modeling stuff you know so basically besiege was a game within fallout 4 within the institution institute and they built stuff within the game and then they used that stuff to create it in the real world so in fallout 4 there are battle bots but you have not seen them of course because uh, it is a top secret project available only to me because i have invented it just now and i will probably attempt to make a battle bot in fallout 4 as well even though i'm not really sure would that uh, that be decent would that look nice i don't know but either way i uh, basically this build is more like something that i use to test things to, to figure out how uh, things work in the game and to remind myself of uh, how everything works so the cannons were kind i changed the cannon from uh, from the grenade to a rocket and they so they simply became too strong so they kept uh, getting smashed constantly so i uh, started adding these sp springs and uh, changed the Oh, I should probably change, I kind of forgot about that, because I changed the button for the cannon, so I should have changed the button for the spring as well, because the spring kind of holds the cannons together, so they don't uh, explode and nothing goes to shit. But then I also added several of these uh, armor blocks on the sides. It required a little bit of fuckery to get it all working, and it is still kind of buggy, I still need to work on uh, fixing that. But I wanted to make sure that it is protected from all sides, because that is also important. Because the point of the battle bot is to survive as long as possible, to beat his enemies. And this is also kind of related to the multiplayer thing that uh, they announced. Because the Besiege is gonna get multiplayer soon. Well, soon, in a couple of months. And I feel like a battle bot arena and battle bot fighting I would like to focus on that, I would like to kind of promote it, so people build uh, bots and fight, because I think that would be very, very cool. Now, of course, it is kind of heavy on the computer. My PC can run this particular build at around 40 frames per second if I close everything down. And I have a very strong computer, so if you have a weak computer, see, this is the problem when you go left and right and you can't see the wheels. So this is, this is where I already realized that I need to change the wheels, but I still uh, had not changed them. I decided to leave it for some other time, or a little bit later, uh, 10 minutes later. But the cannon worked, the cannon was uh, beautiful, and everything got absolutely devastated. See, that, that's pretty cool that you can you know, build it and then test it and build it and test it. Uh, the only problem is that it kind of lags. It's a laggy bastard, so it can get annoying, constantly going back and forth. But I added these two blades on top, some sort of a ornament, I guess. It's not gonna serve any purpose, but having it as an ornament is pretty decent. And it worked. It worked, and uh, everything was kinda working nicely. And then I added more things in front, the shrapnel cannon. Uh, three pieces of shrapnel cannons that are also futuristic. I mean, why not? Why the hell not? Doesn't hurt to have that. So I added it, of course. And then added flamethrowers in the back. And I also changed the, the color of the flame. And that's just, it's ridiculous. The color of the flame made it, I made it blue. And it's just <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Because the textures are not, not correct and they are just all over the place. So it ended up looking pretty ridiculous, and then I uh, kind of stepped on a bomb, and then everything went to crap. But, uh, 
this is where I realized that I need to change this shit. So I disabled rotation for, for the back wheels, but disabling the rotation for the back wheels wasn't really enough. Because the front wheels could still go left, right, you know, left and right in a whole circle. And also there is cloaking. You can cloak your uh, your machines. But I also decided to leave that for some other time. We were going to build some sort of a plane and then uh, make that plane be cloaked. And also the cameras. The cameras are so beautiful. The ability to, to add different cameras to the machine and make it like get tracked properly through through different angles and shit that's so good that is so beautiful i love it and as you can see i spent a lot of time just uh, getting familiar with the game again because i did kind of forget everything absolutely everything i mean i have 80 hours in besiege and all of those 80 hours are from the first month after the game got released because i was quite obsessive with it. I even had a section on my website where I was uploading uh, machines that people were submitting. People submitted a lot of machines and everything, you know, be before Besiege had the, the Steam Workshop. My website was one of the biggest sources for machines the back then. And then Steam Workshop came and killed me. Killed me! I was ruined. Ruined forever. But then I also stopped playing Besiege as well, which was kind of a mistake. I should have played it more and yeah this is where i kind of skipped forward quite a bit and decided to use the original classic steering method where you have wheels that can go up down uh, left and right and so it's basically like a tank design you can either go uh, back and forth or th then you stop and then you go left and right so it's kind of like a tank and i also added some uh, beautiful uh, spinning blades underneath in case something or someone is low enough to you know sneak under the armor and between the wheels they can't survive that saw blades saw blades are deadly they're gonna kill you and also added armor to the wheels kind of forgot about that a lot of armor a lot of things a lot of weight see how it just it <laughs> plops down like crazy it's a very very strong machine and it took me a while to align everything but eventually it was aligned and the machine was kind of perfect. Perfect! The frame rate was low because I still, uh, at this point, I had everything turned on. You know, I had two browsers with 20 tabs each, two monitors on the sides. So, obviously it affected the frame frames on the game. So it worked a little bit slower and, as you can see, you can't really effectively go left and right unless you stop. And then go left and right. And also this Canon camera. The Canon camera is beautiful. But then it kinda it kinda ruined my <laughs> kinda ruined my battle bot. So I decided to add a blade in the back. Just one blade in case something bad happens and we end up in the same situation. I thought about placing like a, like an entire line of blades, similar to, to the blades on the left and right, but just didn't seem right. It seemed excessive. And that is it. This is the beautiful battle bot. It works. It has a blue flamethrower. It's very nice, I think. So, I'm not really sure what else to say about it. It was a test build, you know, just to see how, uh, how it works and uh, to get reminded of the controls and everything and get familiar with the mods as well because the mods add quite a bit of depth to the to the building design so uh, that is it this is the institute battle bot that was built by the institute because they like battle bots and they fight amongst themselves so if you guys have the siege feel free to make an institute battle bot yourself and let me know uh, let me know what it looks like i am interested to see your designs and maybe once multiplayer comes maybe then we will be able to uh, play together you know or play uh, against one another or however that works. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, would you, uh, would you like to see more? Or do you have any ideas? Make sure to, uh, if you want to, combine them with stuff from Fallout or stuff from other games. So, you know, if you have absolutely any type of idea for a vehicle that can be built in this game, just let me know and I will build it. And they will come. Thank you for watching, 
I hope you enjoyed, and uh, there's nothing else left to say. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.